Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Thought I'd do another update because we also see here on the XRP chart a few green candles just ahead of the weekly candle close. The market is getting a bit crazy at the moment. Um, we see nice movement across the board. Bitcoin, Ethereum, <clears throat> also XRP is following even though it's not very strong. Um, you know my view that I think this move up currently for XRP is not sustainable. But in the short term we could, if all goes well, in the best case, yeah reach sort of the 78 to 80 cent level um, that is either based on the, the well two assumptions first assumption here a b c d e as a triangle don't find that too likely but it's possible um, and we would then um, break out here to the to the upside um, after the wave e yeah the wave e would basically finish where or the wave b would finish where the wave e bottoms and then we would move up in a C wave, which would be an impulse or, and that's the other assumption is that the impulse has already started. Let's just didn't press the wrong button here. The impulse has already started. Um, no, I didn't wanna delete the triangle. There you go. That the impulse has started in that it is only here a WXY pattern, which is absolutely possible as well. And then we would already be in the C wave, yeah, so that we have it like that. To be fair, for an impulse, it's a bit too weak. Yeah, it's no comparison to Ethereum at the moment. Ethereum is just pumping crazy at the moment. Um, but also here XRP, we see a little bit of a, uh, a life sign, yeah. So it has moved up above the previous high, just briefly, yeah, moved above the 40 cent, 47 cent level that could now take us again to the top of the range around 53 cents first. Um, important to understand also that we broke out of the descending channel here. That's also a good sign. So we basically broke out, retested, and we're now pushing higher. Um, what would be an ideal target for the D wave? Let's say we are still in the triangle. Well, then we would take the length of the B wave and take it to the low of the C wave. And the key target would be, that's sort of the first level to watch out for. It would be the 50 point for cent level, the 61.8% extension, 61.8% extension of the B wave. And that would be the length of D, yeah, the ideal length. Um, and all of that could play out, so higher in D, higher in, um, or alternatively higher already in the wave C, both pointing to the upside. That's what I told you in the last video that at the moment, um, I'd rather um, be in favor of short-term upside all of that provided that we are holding the previous swing low here at 45.2 cents. If we lose this one, then we're probably going to break out of the triangle to the downside as well. And then the next target for the bears would be the 42.2 cent level. But at the moment, the momentum is rather focusing on the upside. We can see it on the RSI here. Yeah, bullish crossover. You can see on the four hour MACD as well that the bullish momentum has been increasing since earlier today here on the four hour chart. And if I look at the uh, one day chart, you can actually see that we are about to form a bullish crossover. That could be a buy signal on the RSI and the negative from momentum on the MACD is reducing, which is also a rather positive signal. Okay, and that's my update about XRP. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.